Ladies and gentlemen, adjust your headphones. Come on in and shut the front door. You are welcome to the You Should Know podcast. The news from the antagonist's shoes. Mike, how are we doing? I'm good, man. Feeling strong, feeling healthy. What's going on? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm back. Back in the UK. A bit Jeez. disappointed. How was the motherland? to an end. Yeah, it was good. Nigeria is a good place. I really enjoyed it. The weather's good. The That's environment it. is good. The food is good. Jeez. The, the people are animated. And did, you, did you go for Mac Biggs? No, that's, I swear everyone we drove past was closed. No, <laughs> no, nah, nah. see, see propaganda. See, you started well, then you come with the propaganda. That's that's the problem with you. You start <laughs> every, well. Every single one went by, I swear nah, it was closed. You, you, know, you don't know what's going on with that franchise. You don't know what's going on with that franchise. Shortage. Shortage, <laughs> shortage <laughs> of food. <laughs> Matt Biggs, legendary. You can't go to Nigeria no. without getting Matt Biggs. Legendary. No, I had the Chicken Republic. That place is delicious. Yeah, yeah trust that, me. That was absolutely delicious. But yeah. No, I tried the local cuisine and that it was good. Everyone, That's it. everyone was fun. You, went on you, a you boat went ride. In, you, you went in what? lukewarm water when you had the ebba and everything. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they bring? Yeah, they bring in a bowl for your hand. That's yeah. it. That's you know, it. I didn't even have that. I had pounded yam. Yeah, pounded yam. Twice, yeah. Jeez, that's it. Yeah. Lidge. That, that's the, that that's one, the real so. experience, man. Yeah, but the airport on the way back, my God. But that You just have to make sure you got your peas in it because everyone's going to tap you. Boy. Just to, t- <laughs> so you have to make sure. Guy, I was with one guy. Yeah. We went to the toilet. Yeah, yeah. And this is like towards the end because there's so many stages that people that you have to battle. Oh, oh you have to you, tap. Yeah, you, oh, get, yeah. You, you have to have enough. But for the five. peas, the, the peas were slowly decreasing. Yeah, each step in it. So we had to say, listen, we gave it to your man at the back in it. So yeah, yeah, to, yeah. They're yeah. going to have to hold back. So the like the second to last step was the toilet, and then the guy I was with, yeah. Like the toilet attendants were like looking at us saying, Oh, hi, hi, I ignored the minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were very chosen. Yeah. This, this, the guy I was with, he was like, Hey, hi. And I said, Bro, you're going to pay for that. <laughs> that hi is not free. <laughs> he was like, What? I'm running up a check. He's like, Yeah, you're running up a bill. <laughs> so by the time I came out of the toilet, I said, What happened? He said, Yeah, I had to cut him some peas. They were harassing me. Hi. Uh, yeah, everything yeah. costs money. Everything. No hello, no hello was free no, of charge. No, Everything, 100%. I was just so, it just made me so rude at the end of the whole trip. I was just, that's, that's, that's the shift. difficult thing. Like, I remember when I was flying back from Nairs four years ago, and obviously I didn't plan enough money to give to people. So there was even, mm. I don't know how much it is. It must have been like, people that 50 cobble. I just said, to, look, I've literally got nothing. I'm What's flying that? back to London. That's less than the Naira. So I, don't, oh, I mean, wow. I just dashed it to someone. She looked at it and gave it to me, kissed her teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said he would give it back to me. I said, unbelievable. Yeah, they, they did that to one of our friends. I'm going to name the names. But yeah. she did, on arrival, she had no Naira in it. So she was like, look, I've got a pound 20. I guess I'll take your money and go. <laughs> <laughs> one pound 20. <laughs> Come on, you, you, can't take money and go, you can't exchange that. We need paper. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just... The rudeness, the rudeness. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> enough, yeah. Enough about the trip, which was great. I definitely want to go back again. But yeah, let's jump into the first segment of the podcast. Mm. So we're going to jump into the uh, undercover gems. We talk about some of the weird and wonderful stories and news that you may have not heard. Yeah. So Michael, mm. Taco Bell in America offers what to new customers? Uh. It's not. It's not going to be something obvious. I was going to say a burrito or an encalada, uh, what's mm. or something like that. That would be reasonable. But the fact that you've picked it out means it's not reasonable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. So, <laughs> so, so, because so, it's America, it's like, are they offering Plan Bs or condoms or? Oh, <clears throat> let's just say. Uh, what would a fast food joint? So it can't be too expensive because the fast food place. But what is something universal or stupid enough that they would do? Um, I'm going to say they are offering. <laughs> I don't know free free McDonald's vouchers. <laughs> why would the, why would they offer the why would they offer you the opposite food? The opposite food. They... I don't know. Say dumb. It's going to be saying of that level of stupidity. So I'm going to go. They're offering free food mm. of the ops. No, they're they're not they're not trying to boost sales for uh, their competitors here. Uh, what they're actually offering 
is a subscription service for tacos. What? So yeah, so they're trying to entice some of the more hardcore customers but offering a subscription service. Same like you have with Netflix or Disney Plus. Yeah. They're offering the customers that. So that way you get uh you basically they're calling it a, a tacos lover pass for 30 days. And you can get it on your Taco Bell smartphone. So basically what the subscription allows is that you pay a certain amount every month and every day you can come in and get either <laughs> a crunchy taco, a soft cat taco, or the Rito taco or a spicy taco. There's a very they've got various tacos. You can get one each day for the month. So you can come in every single day and get one of those for your subscription. So I think if you love Taco Bell, and I, I, I don't know that well, but if you love Taco Bell, this would work for you. And it costs between five and ten dollars, depending on your location. So I mean, it's not gonna do much for your waistline, but it's probably gonna Ooh. save your pocket. Every day. Every, Every day, day. You can go, it's it's much, it's like Netflix. Go in there, you watch anything you want, binge watch. Here, you're just getting the, the taco that you want every day. Think about the saving you're gonna make. Think about the saving. Burger King actually did this before, apparently. Okay. Burger King trialed it. It didn't work. Everyone, everyone chopped all the burgers. Everyone out of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so, but taco that they've limited it to a taco a day. You can pick which one, and you're on every single day for a month. I think I think it makes sense if you're spending five to ten on that. What let's say every couple days, something like that. Get a subscription. Get no. a subscription. This is every day. People are coming up with new and creative ways to die. This is this is a one way ticket to death. This is a a, a pass to heaven. At least, this, this is what at this least, is. Come at on. Least, at, at least yeah, you'll be happy. No, at least, no, at least they may even throw in a free uh, Taco Bell headstone. Oh, yeah. That's it, a free Taco Bell and a, a casket in it. Yeah, sponsored casket. They'll, they'll come to the wedding and provide oh, the food. I mean, oh, the no. funeral. <laughs> they come to the funeral and provide the food. No, Taco, that's like, what are you doing? This country, they love it. Yeah. They love yeah. it. Like, I, I, I don't know if it's going to, I don't know if it's going to catch on. Like you can't um, have a junk food loyalty card. You, you, you will kill people. <laughs> you will kill people. I don't, I don't think that's the point. The point <laughs> is to get the bees. <laughs> the <laughs> the, junk food meant to be a tree. It's like, meant to, it's meant to be a tree. You can't have, you can't treat yourself every day. 24-7. <laughs> You can't treat yourself 24 7. What's wrong with these people? I don't know. I don't Profits know. Profits over everything else. Yeah, and it's not even like the food is healthy, you know? Oh, like, come on, tra- the, trash. I mean, I mean it's, it's probably one of the better alternatives than like yeah, the burger and stuff yeah. like that. But, yeah, yeah. But still, I don't know what the salt content is and all of that stuff. So That is. Uh, my, my story isn't about. Um, um, killing your eating to kill yourself, but if you get caught doing what these people are doing, someone may kill you. So the headline is: Cops ignored calls out to do X on duty. So what do you think X is? Cops ignored call out to do X on duty. So what? These are like the squad cars. They've been called to go for a job. Mm-hmm. That's, there's a there's an incident here, and they're not going because they're doing something else. Correct. They're not going. Yeah, so these lot must be playing some kind of game or something like that. Or it's not, it's not the donut thing. Everyone says they're like donuts. How many donuts do these people eat? But, um, <laughs> yeah, they must be out just, local. They must Could be, be. Out messing around. I feel like, yeah, I feel like they're out there just in a mall or something or, or playing games on their phone, probably playing games, something silly like that. So you think you think they're copying a, a old school snake on their phone or yeah, I think manager playing, on their phone? Yeah, they're Sorry. playing Candy Crush and that stuff. I'm going with that. Go with that side. That is way off. This is yeah. you, you know me. I'm going to go for something really stupid or something more gory. So these are British police officers. I don't know. I don't know what constabulary they were with, but mm. um. They, what they were doing, uh, what's their name? Sergeant Molly Edwards and PC Richard Patton, who are independently married with children, were doing the deed in the police car where they should be responding to calls. So apparently, with each, with each other, with each other, yeah, <clears throat> mental with, with each other. So apparently, there was an assault outside a nightclub, and yeah. they're like, 
Come quick to uh, X that club. Someone's been slashed, and then this guy yeah. he is. <laughs> Hold on, do you be on our way? Let me just put up my pants. <laughs> we'll be on our way. <laughs> just cheeks clapping. He just so these, these lot, these lot are doing uh, uh, broke back uh, Royal Mountaineers. Is this, what, is this what they're doing, bro? Wow, how did they catch him? How did you catch him? Ah, oh, how did they catch this him? This is this is genius. So they bugged out the car. What? Who bugged out the car? The police. The police. Yeah, they bugged right. the car. So yeah. obviously they were. <laughs> obviously, I think these cars must have trackers anyway, in it. So you yeah, can't say you're on your way to a, a job and your car's static in the field somewhere. Still, just see it moving side to side. I didn't even know it did that on the GPS. <laughs> the car's moving side to side in the same spot. So you're thinking, what kind of glitch is this? That. Yeah, Not that this guy is clapping cheeks. Oh so, my god. So yeah, they put a uh, they they bugged the car. Um, what and, and they heard their conversations? Yeah, apparently uh, the the guy was like, "Oh, let's get naked," and it's just like, who even has dirty talk like that? Who in dirty talk says, "Let's get naked"? But Boy. I, I don't. Oh, mm, mm. wonder how they worked out. I wonder how they worked out that a they were both. Well, I'm sure a they were both um, gay, and, and then b that they both wanted to do it with each other. Like that, I don't. I don't even know how it works when it comes to like being on job. Like, how do you? Is they go? Oh, you'll be with Laura. He's like, no, no, no. I'm gonna go on the thing. I want PC pad today or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know. No, I don't, I don't work well with Laura. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. work well with Laura. You never worked with her before. I, yeah. I know. I can tell. <laughs> I want, I want PC Pat and he's, his baton makes a lot of sense to me. Like, he moves his baton around. <laughs> they were best. It was Surrey. It was, I was mm. down in Surrey. So Guildford of them sides. Apparently, there was hella crimes happening. Apparently, an electrical store was getting robbed. They were taking the TVs off the stand, walking out, and these guys are just... These guys are beating. Oh, that's... That, look, do what you want to do, but do it on your own time innit? and do it on your own dime. Okay? Lord... Don't come and when, especially police, it's not like I'm calling out bloody, I don't know, a service that isn't emergency. Do you know what I mean? Like not the, it's not the Tesco groceries. This is like police calls. Someone, someone might have died in the time that you've got mm. there and you're there beaten. At least do it, yeah, in your own time. Book off work, book a week off. Nah, they said, yeah. bro. Head off to the Maldives or whatever, and then you might enjoy it. Nah, they were, they were doing it in the Surrey Recreational Ground or wherever it was, fam. They, were, they, they were looking to go no Maldives, fam. They were, well, let's, they, let's, let's hope that they've been... Nah, they, nah, they, nah, they were... They had the tribunal, but they both quit before, so they, they, they didn't even face the music. They quit Is before it? their... Like, Should have locked them up and sent them to Bin. I'm sure a lot of people would have been happy to see them. Well, they could have had some sex in there too. Right, if, they're, if, they're the, if they're on the same wing, if they're on the same wing, if not, someone else might take up that mantle, boy. But well, let's let's go let's go on to the the main segment of uh, this. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the the main segment, the you should know about segment. This is where we look at a hot topic in the news, a story you you should have heard about. But we consider it from the antagonist shoes and ask ourselves, should they have known better? So, Junior, um, obviously, we've heard about, I don't know if you heard about it, but you should have heard about the soaring energy prices. And right now, the energy prices are shooting up. And all these gas companies, all this British gas, all this Scottish power, uh, is MP Easter one? I don't know. I'm going to throw them in there anyway. All these companies are saying, look, man, this... Uh, energy cap that the government have put in place it's not going to work the raw prices of gas have shot up so high that companies are going to go bust companies are going to go out of business and it's going to leave potential people without gas but we're hearing reassurances that regardless if your company does go bust you'll still be supplied so there's a bit of conflict from the industry compared to the government and it's not always that you have the government trying to keep prices low for people especially after the increase that ni announced not so long ago so i'm going to put junior into the shoes of his fellow ghanaian quasi quartan the business secretary who's been holding big crisis meetings with the players in the energy sector. And I just want him to say, Kwasi, you're, you're a man that understands money. You understand figures. 
why are you keeping a, a cap in place when the industry is telling you that you can't afford it? Uh, first thing I'd like to say is I'm British, not Ghana. <laughs> Queen Qu- and country. <laughs> the Qu- quasi, yeah? Queen and country. British. Or, or, the, or the quasi. Quasi. No, no, no. It's, no, it's quasi. Qu- okay, quasi. Quasi, quasi okay. yes. Quasi? I'm a hi- no, no. I'm highly educated from the UK. <laughs> from UK. So, no, 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 not no. from Kobasi. Qu- never heard of, never heard of such a place. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, to my good people of the UK, where I'm from. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, oh, said, you, you, you you're not chopping oh, Banku. Well, all right, just <laughs> <laughs> so you're not you're not chopping Banku at, at the House of the Parliament now. Uh, they think I'm chopping is lamb chops. I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're referring to. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're referring to here. No, no <laughs> shit, so to go your roast dinner. <laughs> that's, that's, that's never heard of such a meal, but I, I'd, ra- I'd rather have a cranberry sauce of mine. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> <laughs> much better for the palate. Um, cranberry. <laughs> 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 You must try it if you haven't. It's delightful. Uh, <laughs> so uh, anyway, we're trying to save the UK taxpayer money. Peas, you might understand. Mm. And so if we were to remove this cap, we'd see prices skyrocket. And that's not going to be good for anybody in this country. Not for you, not for me. Only the industry. And we don't want to help the industry without helping England first. Scotland and Wales less so but our our main aim in this thing is to make sure we keep the cap okay we like the cap okay it's a good cap caps are good okay like a baseball cap protects your eyes from the sun oh you would never wear one of those will you that's a good cap I've never played like that. Yes. I never go to no no cricket maybe, but not 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 baseball, not baseball. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I go with uh, my my good friends, um, uh, well, Gavin Williams, Green, Green, Green Soul Capital. Yeah, no 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 no, they didn't they didn't give me a job. <laughs> they wouldn't they wouldn't put me on the board. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nobody looked like me on the board. I don't, don't, I do that. don't understand yeah, that's why. It. <laughs> I don't understand why. Um, but yeah, we like, we, we like caps, bottle caps. Bottle caps are good for you. They protect your drinks. They keep your drinks safe. Yeah, you knee caps. Look, you're looking. You know, there's another the, cap that we got there. The, the, that that is another cap. But mm-hmm. what, what's interesting, Quasi, is that um, the the industry are saying mm-hmm. that it's not sustainable. The prices that are rising. So could we have another crisis on our hands? I did. Oh, 2008, we had a sort of housing market crisis, which led to the global financial crisis. So, couldn't you say that by ignoring the industry, you're risking another crisis of the scale of that? The, the industry say a lot of things. They say a lot of things. Uh, experts, these so-called experts, look what they said about Brexit. You know, and said it's been a glorious success. <laughs> yeah. look, look what look what they were they, they were saying about England's chances of winning the World Cup, you know, and look how far and look how what they did. So, you know. <laughs> this guy, he never done a competition. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was rugby. It could have been the Olympics. I don't sure. I wasn't paying attention. Where, but, where, where did Ghana come in? The, the world, this World Cup? Why are you asking about? me? I'm not from Ghana. I'm from the UK. I'm British. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. I, I love the Queen. So, my, my thing is, experts in the industry, they say what they like to say, you know, but we have to follow the data. We have to follow what we see. And I think we're fine. The Prime Minister thinks we'll be fine. And the, the uh, we're Prime not, Minister not, know about it? Of course, he, he came out and said that um, he'll secure the gas pipelines. I'm sure he'll, he'll have conversations <laughs> with Putin himself and make sure that we get a flow of liquid, <laughs> natural gas. We'll, and so we'll, we'll get we'll, Brexit done. We'll, 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 well, Brexit has been done. Look at, look at the success. <laughs> the, the wide range of majority. And I think we'll be, we'll be fine here. So I, technically, I don't see no problem. There's gas flowing into my house. Oh yeah! Oh oh! Yeah, in we'll in, well, in Surrey somewhere, I fancy or uh, yeah yeah yeah. Or Guildford. I'm not really sure where I live, but <laughs> what I do know is that <laughs> what I do know is that there's there's gas. So people shouldn't worry. Don't worry. They'll still have their turkeys at Christmas. Well, if, you, if you if you can heat the oven. I didn't say what kind of turkey. It could be turkey Twizzlers, turkey burger. I'm just saying you'll have turkey. <laughs> turkey will be available. So yeah. 
this this story is interesting because I, I don't really watch the gas prices as it talk goes up. I wasn't really watching it. But then this story is interesting. It's almost like maybe because I wasn't keeping my eyes to the ball. It sounds like it's just, it fe it's felt like it's come out of nowhere. I don't know if you were more abreast to this whole energy crisis. No, nah, I'm also, I was more so in tune with the shortage, so the food shortages and the shortages in, in Hollyers. Yeah. A lot of them come from the EU and a lot of them don't actually want to come and work back here. And there's been a shortage in this country anyway, but there's been so many reviews and the government just never looked at them and never bothered to act on them that's until the, now. That's, that's, so that's, 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 what I, that's what I've noticed. But the other flip side of it is um, Asia, the Asian market is hungry for gas. That's something that we don't really pay much attention to. And a lot of it does come, we're, we're less we're less dependent on Russia, but a lot of it does come from that way. Mm. And so when there's demand on the other side of the world, they go, okay, cool. And then we feel it as well. There's always of a course. trickle down. So, so all, the, all these factors, are, uh, I, like I said, I don't really follow it like that, but all these factors do play a role. So I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what is going to happen. I have, I have no idea. We, I have no we, idea what the outcome is going to be. It's going to be a cold and hungry winter. But what does, what does that mean that, because they said they're going to, they're going to step in if there's, if the suppliers go bust, right? Yeah. But then the, what does that mean? Is, are they, are they going to start providing the, the gas? Or, or, or where's it going to come from? Because the whole British gas, that's for sure. Yeah, cause, so, I, so I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure. What, what I'm interested in is the fact that they're actually keeping the cap that I thought they would lift it. It's surprising because they obviously they, they lifted, they went back on their pledge last the other week and they were like steadfast mm -hmm. than that. So maybe they didn't want to go two, back on two. another pledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah, they're two. trying to keep yeah. some face even though... Yeah. It sounds like it's one that they may not be able to afford. Oh, yeah, chances are, look, it's early days, right? So September, they're saying they're not going to lift the cap. And then, boom, November, we have to lift the cap. We had so to. it could be a yeah. play like that. Yeah, it's one of those, keep your eye on it, because it's just it's all sounding a bit too good to be true. Mm -hmm. That's, that's so we're talking about caps, no cap. The man no always capping, cap. so. The man are always capping, so. That's one to, Fendi fact. One to keep our eye on. Yeah, so face, Facebook are basically denying the fact that they've got internal research and findings that suggest that the company has been ignoring claims that they um, had inconvenient information for the company. So what that basically means is Facebook have had have done research, internal research on their products, and they've willfully ignored these the findings because it's inconvenient for the company. Stories were based on in, in, internal documents that showed the company knew more about the negative impacts of its products than it publicly claimed. So for example, um, you've got Facebook also owns WhatsApp, but primarily Instagram here. Mm. There's, a, there's, a, there's, there's a case here for Instagram. And it's it, this, one of the studies looks at the impact of Instagram and the impact it's been having on the well-being of teenage girls, but also on teenage boys as well. And so They've 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 done all this research, and I guess they've they've probably come to the conclusion that there is a lot more damage that their products are doing, but they're willfully ignoring it. Okay, and so now Facebook have they haven't disputed the documents, they haven't disputed the authenticity of the documents. But what they are saying is the journal um, the journalist articles, um, which have have these findings, are basically deliberately mischaracterizing what they were trying to do. So. Michael, Facebook executive, Zuckerberg. Or Nick Clegg, head of Facebook in the UK for something. I remember something <laughs> you know, you know what he does. I know, yeah, he's there. Oh, he's there. I, know, the I, I know that. So these findings are here. We've got internal documents. They've got the, they've got the Facebook stamp and everything. Mm. What do you say to these claims? I know you've already said that. They're, 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 they're deliberately mischaracterizations of what was happening. But what do you say to the people who say you knew way more about your products than you were letting on? I say first and foremost, as Nicholas Clegg, we will never raise the price of Facebook for young people. What's, what nonsense is this? What's this? <laughs> We're talking about negative impact. You're talking about we will never tuition. ever. That, that is, I can promise for, for young people using Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. No, not Twitter. We don't use it. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> so you're bringing in another company. <laughs> I can talk for Jack. I'm talking for Jack. We'll never raise the prices. Call me David Oji. I'm talking about them. <laughs> This is what you call brilliant PR. We we promised to never raise the price of using Facebook, Instagram, or WhatsApp. Right, that's great. But what's that got to do with these internal documents that are suggesting that you knew way more about your products, way more of the negative impacts of your products than you were letting <clears> on? What, what do you say to that? I say that research is done all the time. But it doesn't mean you have to acknowledge everything which is researched. Because how right. do you know? How do you know everything that's researched is factually correct? Well, no, wait, hang on. You lot have done the research. You lot have done the internal research, right? So you've clearly got the, the research data Research is analytics. done all the time. Yeah, but you... As... you... <laughs> no, but you research can... is done all the time. So we, we can look at something. It doesn't mean that we agree or acknowledge everything we've looked at. So you're not always going to go on and act on what something you found if you're not sure that you agree with it. But it sounds like here, looking at the internal documents, it suggests here that the negative impacts are, are, are probably well documented outside of your company as well, right? And it looks like that you, you, you publicly avoided some of the more damning stuff. Like what? Some of the more, well, the impact that it has on, on young teenage girls, some of the ads that pop up, the, uh, is it the discovery page? I think there's research done on that. The, the oh, the psychological, page. Yeah, the psychological impacts that it has on young teenage girls and boys in terms of body dysmorphia. There's a lot. There's been a lot of studies been done, which probably matches the work that you've done already. But it seems like those documents have not appeared at the front of anybody's desks. Why is that? Okay, let, let me let me let me ask you something, uh, Junior. You ask me. Yeah, I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> no, 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 tell me, I'm telling you. This, you're, you're talking about body dysmorphia. You put a photo of your Instagram in a pool. Why did you do that, body dysmorphia? This guy is tapped. Why? What's that? Is that body dysmorphia? Are you going to make someone feel dysmorphic about themselves? That's not. On, that's not on the explore page. That's on my. It, that's it, on it my will page. Be explore, it will be uh, under explore. No, no, it's, no it's uh, powdered yab. Gonna... You said you had powdered yab, so you <laughs> hashtag powdered yab. What hashtag Nigeria. <laughs> hashtag didn't swim. Just <laughs> no. the Nobody did any of these things. <laughs> I don't know why Nick Clegg is looking at my Instagram. So, so some, <laughs> no, but that's what's the point. You do top no. this photo, someone sees that, becomes dysmorphic. Why are you put the photo up? Well, good. Well, now let's talk about this then. So if there's an instance where my picture yeah, is popping up on someone's explore page and it's having negative impact, why aren't you doing anything about it? Should, should we take away <laughs> your rights? To take to put photo. The other day, did we take away the right? But why are you need to ask yourself as an individual, not the company, an individual, why are you putting dysmorphic pictures up for people? Is there, do I have the right? <laughs> do they have the right to take away my photo? This is rubbish. <laughs> this is complete rubbish. No, but what? No, I'm asking you. Why? No, no, that's just one case. That's just one case, though. Right? Yeah, but you... there's there's plenty more out there where I'm, where um maybe 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 it's uh, people buying certain products. Maybe it's the, it's the predatory advertising. Forget the mm-hmm. body and stuff. You you've got this information, right? But you yeah. guys are willfully ignoring it to put more, to line to line your coffers. It, it's, it's very difficult for us to ignore it. What do you mean? It's difficult for us to ignore this information. This is Nick Buckles and Nick Clegg. That's all this stonewall in. This is very <laughs> difficult for us to take all this <laughs> I have done with this interview. This guy, this is a, a, a F, great F. <laughs> he didn't explain anything. <laughs> that's, 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 he ran it back, man. He ran it back to the pol- the Lib Dem days. He ran it back to this Sheffield Halam. Straight, straight stone walling. Uh, yeah, I, I, look, I don't know what I don't know what information. I, it's interesting because you do get these people. I wouldn't say they're whistleblowers, but they get these internal documents. Yeah, of course. And they they fan them out to. I think it was the Wall Street Journal actually. Mm-hmm, like, got mm-hmm. his eyes on it, right? And yeah, it's just like you know they're doing it. It happened um in like the seventies and eighties with the oil and gas companies. They were like, yeah, they knew that 
they did loads of loads of research on the negative impact of climate change. And they were like, oh my God, this is really bad for the environment. Put it in the bin. <laughs> there would have been the the money to make, up. man. Yeah, Look, the rest the of the world later. It's, it's like one reason why, do you know, every time, not every time, majority of the time when there's a uh, someone's been racially abused, one of the salute potential ways of counteracting that is saying everyone that has a social media account should be verified with some form of ID if you have a mm. license passport. The reason they will never do that is because the, the followers will drop dramatically. Yeah. But all the all the reason they can go to advertisers, we have X amount of million using our platform every day. That that will drop dramatically if yeah. all these people had to be verified. It's not all these bots or all the people with their twenty burner accounts and whatnot. Yeah, the, yeah. So that's why, because they'll lose numbers, and if they lose numbers, that means less money through advertising. That's why they'll never do it. It's so simple. And it actually makes yeah. sense. That's why they're saying we have zero tolerance. You, you have a lot of tolerance. If the money's right, there's tolerance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, no, 100, I think you're yeah, definitely just just on there. Yeah, because, I mean, I don't know the ins and outs of what it would mean to make everything verified, but I think simple things like when you're setting up like a Monzo account and stuff, just send us a little bit of ID and stuff, you know, because mm. I'm, I'm still, you know, uh, using my financial details on Facebook and stuff like that. You want to verify make sure it's me, don't you? And stuff like that. So, Fendi Facts. So it's, yeah, it's interesting. I, I definitely agree that yeah, the followers will drop. All them, all them little bot counts will go. Yeah, it will solve the problem, but it won't solve the no. financial issues in it. So the shareholders won't be happy. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, they, yeah they, don't, the they, don't, they don't care enough. They don't, they don't, yeah, they don't, they don't care enough, unfortunately. So you know, I don't think it's weird because companies they 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 set up without a malicious intent, and then they grow so big that they just become. It just become a problem. Oh, oh yeah, they're, 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 they're bigger than some governments, man. They're bigger yeah, than some yeah. countries' GDP. Don't, don't Apple have like the sixth world's largest GDP or something mad like that? Or yeah, something, something like that. I think it's was it two point six trillion. It's some, some, mad some like that. Even on that, yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. It's, it's true. It's true. But they're they're all about the profit, which is which has detrimental effect on That's us cool. in in a, in a lot of situations. This, ironically, is one of them. Oh, and what's that? What's that? What's that documentary? If it's just quickly before I wrap this up, do you know that documentary on Netflix? I think what's it called? Unconscious Bias, something like that. Maybe. Yeah. Well, if you haven't watched it, it's really good. Oh, is it yeah. about social media, and social yeah, network? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've yeah, been, yeah, um, yeah. I've been I told to watch that. it. I've not, I've not, I've not watched it. Unconscious but I know Bias or Social? Uh, if I remember, social, I'll, I'll... it's not Social Network. That's the name of the film. But no, I know what you're talking network. about. I know what you're talking yeah. about. I've been told to watch it. I haven't. Definitely, definitely. About the Carver. psychology of social media and things like yeah, that. Yeah, Carver and I were too. There's a woman who wrote a book about um, surveillance, online surveillance that I'm reading as well. It's really good. If I remember the... Well, I haven't really started reading it, but I'll, I'll put those in Twitter for our yeah. followers. If they're yeah, interested. definitely. Some source material. But yeah, let's move on to the last segment. The throwback last segment, segment. The throwback segment. This is where we look at something that's happened this week in yesteryear and ask ourselves... We just reminisce and ask ourselves, maybe should they have known better? So what have you got, man? What have you got for us? Um, yeah, so ironically, I've got I've got one or two here, actually. Um, ironically, we're talking about social media and use of, you know, mobile phones and whatnot. Uh, well, on September the 23rd of 2008, Android was first released. Woohoo. Jeez. Yeah, I know. That's had a huge impact on the way people connect with their phones today and with other people as well. I always kicked off as a um, iPhone person, to be honest. Um, and then around 2014, I switched. I said I had enough of mm. widgets. I love the customability of an Android phone. Mm. I know people always give it a stick and stuff about the front-facing camera and blah 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 things like that. But big fan of Android. Love an Android phone. Um, the second part actually is um, linked to it. Um, it's two words that entered the the English dictionary in 2008 as well. Um, the first word was photo bomb. Everyone knows what a photo bomb is. Oh, right? for real! Someone jumps. Yeah, so that, that we didn't really have that word before. It was introduced in 2008. And the second one, the second one is burner phone as well. Burn, so burner phone. So that I'm thinking obviously lexicon in oh, hey, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking these times, that's I'm talking the hardest is coming out and that. Jeez. So everyone gigs must have been saying burner and that. And they must have burn. It must have landed. True. So that's so, it. Yeah. That, that's usually most most of the slang nowadays. It comes from it comes from slang, and then off the dictionary, be like, okay, we accept that as a word. Yeah, and yeah, it's like, yeah. Okay. That's that's language. The language is always evolving, you know, always evolving. So you have to wait for someone. Why do you have to wait for someone from Cambridge or Oxford to make it official? I, I don't like that. Yeah, 
Make our own rules. Like if I got in, I would have liked it, but I don't like it. You let me in, so <laughs> I, I don't like it. It's just, it's just the dictionary, not the. It's the institution. It's not the whole thing. Which it's, I, not the, it's not the CEO of, of, of the schools coming saying, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Don't write that. Don't write that. It's the chancellor, the, the vice principal of the whole institution. <laughs> to, which, to, to, to be honest, though, the words weren't actually put into the dictionary until like, I think maybe two years or a year after. But that's when they were introduced into like the lexicon. The, the lexicon, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I hear you. And that tied nicely with my throwback. My throwback is, I was reminiscing, ten, it was like 10 years ago this week that uh, I went to uni. I don't know what time, What I, th I think Leicester was a week after. October. Yeah, and it's just like, raw a decade ago. I yeah. Uni, a decade. Damn. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Because obviously when I was in Nigeria, I was there for... Friends wedding, uni friends wedding. Yeah. Like, oh, how long you know each other? I was like, ah, oh, shit. It's been like Decades. 10 years. It's been like 10 years. Fuck. That's it. It's serious. I'm like, mm. I'm like, damn, like, we're getting on. Like, 10, 10 years ago, we were starting uni, and 10 years is a long time. And it it's is, like, yeah. damn. It's, I guess more just a realization that, obviously, as, as quickly as we reaching the end of our 20s at some point, it's like, damn, like, we. No longer young boys. If we, if we thought you were young, you definitely forget it. Like, you know, like yeah, you no. faded a decade ago. Wow. Like, we're... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you look at it, you think, have you learned anything? Yeah, I have. I don't, I, I don't but, feel different. I like Physically, I know not. I'm not the same. Like, I can't do the same things I could do uh, 10 years ago. But my in my mentality, I don't think I'm mature rather than I was 10 years yeah. ago. I really don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't I don't. feel like... If I went back to speak to myself, right, and he's like, give me some advice. Well, I keep doing what you're doing, though. I've got yeah, stuff to yeah. do, girl. Do <laughs> get off my back. I've got stuff to do. <laughs> I'm going to Republic. Yeah. <laughs> yes. just, just make sure you get, get double shots. Not, not singles. <laughs> from Republic. <laughs> oh, my the worst advice. That's the thing, like, literally, you, I think... You always look at someone older and you think, "Wow, they must be like." And especially at the age you're not, I guess you're always looking at someone older, think, "Wow, they're that age. They must be so mature. They must mm. all get it together." Da 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 da. And it's like, no, nah, we're all just making it up as we go along. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's very true. You realize you go, "Well, all right, one step at a time." I need to work out what I'm doing. Well, I don't have all the answers now. You don't. I don't, I don't you, won't. You, you could have a child. You still won't know the answers. Just making it up. Yeah, yeah, you got, you're doing as you go along. So, yeah, I, I wonder how many people went said to them, All right, this is where you're going to be in 10 years' time. I wonder if they'd be like, yeah, I definitely see that. Or are you going to have a reality check and be like, oh, shit, I thought by 25, I would have had a kid, a uh, house, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Like, I think you start to work out what's real and what's, oh, what's, 100%, what's not. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You realise, because I guess 20, 25 is a milestone for people. 30 is another yeah. milestone for people where they yeah. take stock of where where they are and stuff yeah. like that it's like oh am i where i want to be and you realize a lot a lot of the stuff all, all these fictional milestones that you get sold based on yeah. media tv movies that you watch it's all arbitrary it's all, it's all arbitrary. arbitrary man yeah. so you just live your life live the life within your means and enjoy it and work towards the life that you want i agree I and agree. on that note we should leave the pod this has been another episode of you should know better Enjoy your week and don't make any... Don't do anything that's going to make us say you should know better. Take care, people. And I bet...